Alright, so what did you want to talk about with the B? Um, I mean, it was just like a general conversation of like why I don't think B should be limited. I mean, like for your friend right now. To be 100% honest, I think that this is a conversation for Eddie, I, myself, I, yeah, Mary, I, you, and other people. I would like people. to be there for that. Yeah, yeah you will be. And I think tomorrow, whenever he's around, I'll call you. Um, and if I'm not around, yeah. then talk to him and Mary. So I'm, just not, I'm not going to race beast because I don't want to step on any toes for now. But of course. I'll tell you, like, I'm friends with a lot of the B-class people. Um, mm -hmm. and I've never had any complaints from people actually within the scene. Like the, the, like the OG group that, like, uh, was referred to that were like, I'm friends with all of them. I actually bought a stupid expensive shitty b class car to race with them for fun like I, yeah I wasn't but it's one of those things where <clears throat> i know you weren't but that's what some people it came across as and we want to make sure that the b's are for people who are newer to the scene trying to get into a's like for example the way that i view the b's is like a ladder system if you are an a plus racer Unless you're going against other A-plus racers in a B-class car, I don't think you belong in Bs. Now, granted, like you said, if it's your boys, you guys are having fun, it's not a bunch of random people, and you just want to go down there and race a B because it's a good time, I understand that. But if you're going in a B race, like even if it's once, twice, three times a tsunami, goes for you too, Taco, and you guys are jumping in a B racing and, and winning B race after B race after B race, or like you, know, you keep placing after B race after B race, people who are B racers who, or people who are getting into the scene and they see you guys roll up, like, I'm not trying to fucking juice you guys up, but motherfuckers, they know you guys are good racers. They idolize you as racers. Like, they, that's 100% fact. So when they see an A-plus yeah. racer come down to B and they're newer and they see that, they're just like, well, fuck. Uh, there's no way I'm winning this now. And then if it keeps happening, like, it's just going to make them not want to and not want to drive. Should we be spoon-feeding people G&E like that? Like, I, I have a whole rant about, like, a, a bunch of, like, basically what was said. It's like, so when I first started racing, right, I... I fucking hunted for like hours to be able to buy this fucking shitty can to those stock. And then I go to these races and it, it was, uh, you weren't around then. Cause I think Listen, were, I remember Orange uh, used to be fucking hiatus. dog shit and I used to race against him all the so, time. Uh, bro, and I was, I was literally fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Getting getting the prime, man. absolutely farmed by everyone. But I was getting last place. Like, <laughs> you have to understand, I've never driven before coming to the city and, and all that. So I was literally like, I was DNFing like 70% of races, man. And like, I would go back and hunt and like to get money for buy-ins to be able to actually race and to upgrade my car. And like, I understood I wasn't good and that they were so much better than me and I just wanted to get better. And I, I don't think you should be spoon feeding people G and E and B's because they're not as good. Well, here's my thing. That here's creates my the exact argument. wrong type of racer. In my opinion, you're, you're creating people oh, yeah, you who are used to winning and, and at what point do you decide when they're too good for bees, right? Are you going to start counting everyone's wins? Or are you going to track like, yeah. No, but here's, here's my like, thing. It, that there's what always you're going saying. to be someone winning. Here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. And what you're saying, I understand. But you, you're, you're speaking like you were the only person who ever had to do this. Brother, we've well, all I, no, just listen well, to no, me. No, that's what we've I'm saying. That's how it there. should be, though. Yes, but, we, but here's my thing. And this is what I need you or I want you to understand. We've all been there. Even whenever I came back and I was racing again, I was getting fuck. I couldn't fucking finish a fucking race to save my life. Charles, I'd be racing S class and he'd be like, all right, one ra one S, two S, Hutch doesn't count, three S. Like, I was terrible. People were farming me too. But you got to understand, like, do I want people, as you said, spoon fed? Of course not. But I'm also not going to sit here and stand by while they're getting their fucking teeth kicked down their throat. And they, they are people I mean, are, are taking money from them and, and G&E, and, e, and they have no chance the, of winning. It's the same shit in A-Class, though. Look at Goofy but and that, fucking right. Rat. The fuck? Like, the same thing. But again, A-Class is different. A-Class oh. is as high as we have. A-Class is like the pedestal of race. So trust me, when I see Rat Man. and Goofy in a race, I don't even want to show up. But then with B-Classes, it's the same thing when they see you guys in a race. I understand you don't want to quote unquote spoon feed people, but I think it's morally wrong to go not morally. I'm not I'm not jabbing at either of you. Let me rephrase this. I think that it's I can't stand by and watch guys who I know who are good racers like you guys go to B classes and racing against people who are absolute fucking dog shit and then just being able to pocket not only the cash but also the G and E when you guys can go to A races and do the exact same thing and compete and win every other and not win every single one. Yeah, no, like, I don't I, think I, I agree where you're coming from, right, but like, for example, like, 
I think it was six of the last like seven days in the week. Like I sold all my cars to be able to get what I needed for mm -hmm. a tuner car. So I didn't even have an A to drive other than the Italia, which I refused to drive because I didn't want to lose it. Of I course. We're back, it. boys. We got work to and, do. And like, yep. I don't know. It's just like, and then if I lose this in Furnace, I have to then scramble for a car. Like the, the B scene is supposed to be like, to me, it was like, okay, I just got pitted three times in one fucking race. I don't want to deal with it. I just want to chill and drive some slow cars and listen to music and have fun. Like, and that's what it like. The B scene was supposed to be. And, and I understand like, that, but you're it, like, I make more money per race in an A plus race. Like Ag agreed. I know this and I, I understand what you're saying, but <clears throat> at some point we have to look at the races or the race scene. Right. And like what's going on. And we have to be like, okay, maybe we're going to make it somewhat friendlier. You taco myself and everyone else was forged in the fire to be able to come there and be able to get their shit kicked in and to, and then to begin being able to race but just because we did it like look at how many racers are racing right now we have about 10 people showing well, exactly. up exactly look I at the amount of people in the city there is a reason why there's only 10 showing up now, granted, obviously, we don't want hundreds of people doing it. But to be honest, that's what we should be shooting for. Even if we have 20 people racing, that's not even 5% of the entire city. There's a reason I why 90% many people racing lately. <laughs> see, but that's not the mindset you should have because we want everyone. Everyone should want to do or want to join and have fun racing. If it's in B, yeah, if it's, it's in A+. Plus, the city can't handle that many people racing is the thing. Uh, like, fuck that mentality. Ten people racing at a time, it's not a mentality. It's the truth. There's only so much streets in the city. Yeah, it, but it should You can't be... say you honestly enjoy racing with over 20 people because that shit is so No, I fucking so hate it. Uh, listen, everything so, that uh, I'm doing in the scene, 90% of the shit that I do, again, I, I don't even want to do it. Like... Whenever I join a race with 25 people, I fucking hate that. You see, I, I, I'll host eight max races, right? And trust me, I hate racing against 25 people. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that I don't want 25 people seeking and wanting to race. The only reason, all right, let me tell you this. And I know this is, might be crazy, but it's 100% fact. Taco can contest Punch the moment that racing... And people have their G&E, and they have their cars that they want, and they don't need G anymore. The race scene is going to fucking die. 90% of the people in it are going to leave. They're going to go and rob banks and do other shit, and they're not going to show up anymore. So us making the move now to make it more invitable to larger amounts of people means that when everyone leaves, either the city or the scene itself... We won't have to deal with just having four people and begging people to race. Chap, I was around when I had to call this big motherfucker to my right and every single person in my gang and every gang in the city just to get five people at a race. Back in Grand Prix 3.0 where we had to memorize the race and teach people the race and then they would have to do the race without any checkpoints. Like, we used to, I used to beg my cousin used to beg people to come and race. And the only reason I'm making the adjustments and the, the steps now to invite more people to come and to make it friendlier isn't because I want people to be pussies. Trust me, I hate pussies. It's the worst fucking thing in the world. And, and people ruin shit. The more people that get involved, they ruin shit. But at the same time, I've been in the scene whenever it was a fucking spoiled, dead, fucking rotten egg on the ground, and no one wanted to poke it with a 10-foot pole. And we would have... To, I would do a race, and I'd put $20,000 of my own money just so I knew that 10 people showed up. But that's what the scene's yeah. going to turn into the moment that people are like, oh, there's too many sweaties. And dude, the A-plus scene is fucking dog shit. It's fucking shit, bro. It is the worst right now than it has ever been. People who love racing don't even want to race because motherfuckers are so elite on what they're doing their lines they came from different cities they're absolute gods they don't mess up people like taco people like mr k and rami and Vinny and and uh lang and tony and other people like that who used to be able to come and win races even if it's once a blue moon they haven't won a race in over a fucking month like they can't even they don't even want to show yeah, up because I'm, they know I'm they're not going to touch you're first. kind of taking away their escape route into fun like easy races that like you can enjoy and like i i know you want to make races like last 
But in my opinion, you're creating Leah, an environment you five gifted. that promotes the type of people that will leave when it stops becoming profitable because your your whole uh, like notion is you want them to have a chance to win. You want it to be more fair. That means they're going to be making more money. We're basically spoon feeding them G&E. And then when the G&E is gone or the profit's gone and they don't have their cars, these people don't actually like to race. I'm telling you right now, you take away G&E from the B scene, these so-called inspired racers are going to all fuck off. Like, it's not, like, this sacred place full of the the most, like, kind-hearted people, bro. Like, people are racing for G&E. Obviously. And the, no one in this city does absolutely fucking anything. Even, like, right now, like, fucking anything. Randy is racing in bees, bro. Like, you're going to have such a problem trying to regulate people from staying out of bees because they're too good. And, like, who decides when someone becomes too good? It's like the setting the Wait, precedent. Why is Randy of, racing in bees right now? It, bro, I'm telling you, people want to race bees because they're fun and you get fucking goofy I mean, he ass did, cars. He, he did not... he DNF from his last one. Oh, yeah, he, he, he sent his car's like, ass anywhere. Oh. It's like what happens, right? Is like the good racers can't race against these guys. So they're getting like free GE, they're getting Vin Scratch bonus, they're getting like 20, 30 GE a race. And then and then what? They have to come up to A's. No, it's not. Do you think Pyro. those guys are gonna actually race in these A races? Like, the only reason we're still around is because we liked racing. We stuck around when we were getting our fucking teeth kicked in and farmed because we wanted to race because we thought it was fun. Not because it was easy. It's because we want to race. And those exact types of people are going to be the people that fuck off that you're trying to prevent. <clears throat> but you got like to understand. The people you want to stay are the people who want to get better and compete against the better racers because once they reach the top, they're still going to get their fucking teeth kicked in. Like, they're, they're, there's no like path for these people on this system right so like, no matter I, I, what you're coming to the top you're getting fucking shit on by goofy he's the end boss and i will it's, it's i over. will agree to disagree i understand that when you go to the b scene you turn on music you have fun your fun again this is a compliment this isn't a me being disrespectful to you your fun is being able to go and compete and no one having a chance to beat you like, let's That's be honest, even you true. have a good, I, bro, no, ch listen, you have a good race. You hit your lines. You have no bad locals. I will put you up against any fucking B racer and they have no chance. No chance. It's, but my cars are all stock and like they're good ass cars, but there's people with way better fucking cars that even if I have the best race, I've been beaten. For example, are you banning, you plan on banning Chody from B's? Chody? Chody's one that basically made it pop. To Chody honest. beats me ninety percent of races that I race against him. Yeah, and but are you gonna Chody's ban a guy fucking, like that? Chody's shit at racing. Exactly, mm -hmm. bro. You have no idea. Like Taco and I's cars are stock. We literally can't beat them, and if we race perfect, because we've literally sandbagged our cars to make it more fair. Like there's people with fully upgraded, even like Big Head's car is fully upgraded. It's better than a stock fucking club, like. We're basically giving up free placements to like these people because we want to keep it fair, and I don't know. It's just like I, I definitely don't win every race. Like, well, I then this is what this is lot, what we'll do. But... This is what we'll do. I'll talk to the PM and we'll drop the GE count for bees. If that if, if that is if, really if that if that's what we league. wanted to do, if that's what we if that's what we absolutely have to do, then the class of the vehicle that you're racing is the is the GE that you get. If you race a B class, you get less. If you race an A class, you get more. If you race X, you get the most. get more than A's. Because uh, I actually think there's going to be an impending issue where no one is going to want to race S. Because why would you race S when you could race a Vince Scratch A and make more g &E? Oh, yeah. that's you know? uh, Well, so, I know for a fact that S is going to be like that. Like, Oh, not for a fact, well, but S, I know. If S has an incentive, then it would actually help the S scene thrive. So I think like that's a good <laughs> idea. Now, how but many again, people are saying that their cars are not upgraded, be... but they have xenons on it that are giving no, you a level two engine? No one says that because B is B plus. Fully upgraded Bs are allowed, but we try and keep the cars relatively fair. Do like, you have Chody's do you have is... xenons on your car? Yeah, everyone does because literally the reason I put xenons on my club is because I was fucking following uh, what's his name Chips Club around, and his was way faster, so I threw fucking xenons in. I. I know like there's a big debate on what's stock, but I genuinely think at this point in the city, xenon headlights and spoilers should be considered stock. 
I know there's a big debate on that. Obviously, but spoilers. I don't think spoilers. Those... I don't think spoilers should ever be considered but non-stock. Like, but I think Xenon's giving you a free level two engine upgrade. I, I don't think, think it's. That's I think it's stupid, and I wish it didn't exist. But the fact is, it does exist, and some people want to color their fucking headlights. And like, it's it, why but not? The just thing is, Xenon's Zenon's it's been a thing for a while, like, and fucking stock, even Eddie put know? it on people's cars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I, but yeah, so. I don't know about that one. The B plus scene doesn't have an issue with people hiding upgrades. It's more so trying to keep the really busted cars. I think the only things that are banned is like they're the Raiden because they can compete in A plus races with while it's stock and there's like electric cars like that. But they even let like someone like Judd is allowed to race. We let R- Judd race it because he's fucking terrible at driving. Like it's just trying to keep it semi casually fair. Like Taco and I could have thrown fucking engine upgrades into these cars and won every fucking race. But we sandbagged like our cars so we could still have Obvious. fun. And I, I understand that. <clears throat> I understand what you're saying. And I, I'm honestly, you are convincing me of of what you. Your argument is a hundred percent valid. I, I'm not sitting here saying that your argument's dog shit. Doesn't make sense. Blah blah blah. It's one hundred percent valid. But whenever I think of B races, that's what I've always thought. Is B races are the minor leagues. A races or A plus is the big leagues. For me, someone like yourself or other racers going down to the B races because it's more chill, quote unquote, more chill and more relaxed. I feel like that's just because the A races are so fucking dog shit that we're even having this conversation. Yeah, no, I mean, it is like that. And I for like, for example, like say I'm not banned and you half the GNE you get in B's. I'm going to go still do B races and fucking chill out when I don't feel like racing in A's, you know? Like, I, I feel like it's a good escape, and I don't think it should be gatekept based off of arbitrary opinions on people's skill. Because you're going to come into an issue where, are you it's really going to govern? It's not like well, it's, okay, it's more like it's opinions, right? Based no, off of it's, how it's good factual, someone is. No, it's factual evidence. You are a better okay, well, racer than example, 99% right? of the B racers. That is a fact. Yeah, 100% fact. I understand. I understand what you're saying, but it was more so if you have to apply it in the future, right? Like, who gets to decide? Like, let's say there's a B racer. He starts winning. Are you going to go and, you like, watch his lines? To, like, what I'm saying is it's really hard to enforce it. And, like, it's going to create issues where there's going to be, like, favoritism. Chody is a perfect example of that guy wins more races than I do. But it's not, B's. see, but that's but the he's thing. A it would never be a candidate for a B race. It, it would never be favoritism. I, if I'm talking to you, one of my own people, I'm talking to Taco, one of my own family members, oh, I, I, there I is no favoritism. It'd it's be the same so thing with Mary and Titanium. As in you don't know who they are and how good they are, and you don't know like the specifics of every single racer in the city to be able to evaluate them. The, unless you had some kind of fucking like ranking system through like the everyone's lap times you would never be able to really tell where someone like if they're too good for b and you're, you're gonna run into an issue where you're gonna have to like like i said shanks is racing b right now you know how many people you're gonna have to ban like I, goofy just scratched a b a few days ago and and you're, like i don't know I i'm pretty lot, sure think... big head put shit tons of gne &E into their car and people are invested like i understand trying to cater to like new people but isn't that what private races are for? If they really want to practice, they just group up in their friends. I don't think you should be keeping good racers out of opens as much as a private race should prevent good racers from joining. Like, the host has the option to kick anyone out, but I don't think we can ban people from classes of cars. Like, because what if, if I go race motorcycles, are you going to ban me from motorcycles next? Like I, I just well, think it's I'm a not, I'm doing slope. motorcycles no matter what. I think B. I get, I <laughs> motorcycles get, I'm, I is a completely B, but, yeah. different area. Right. That it's is just not a car. The, like I guess it's just like what I'm saying is this could turn into you saying Rat and Goofy are too good for A's. You have to race S in the future. And like I just don't want shit like that happening. I think you should be able to race whatever fucking class you want. If a D racing league pops up, I'm gonna want to race it because I think that's fucking hilarious. See, but and fun. here's the problem, right? Here's the problem with oh, you could guys could just do whatever you want because there's too many fucking people in the city who are dumb fucking idiotic morons who all they want to do is gain and 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 have no fucking feel or no fucking remorse for the people around them. I'm gonna be 100 percent with you, chap. I'm gonna be 100 percent with you, Taco. It's not you guys, or maybe you guys, but I'll tell you the fucking 
fucking problem with this goddamn city is that there's too many heartless fucking pussies out there who will go to these fucking scenes and farm these people for fucking hours. These people who just want to get into the scene or people who just want to get started and they'll just fucking farm them with no fucking remorse whatsoever. ever. It's the same thing when people rob you guys of dongles or fuck with the racers, period. No one, and I mean fucking nobody, had people's fucking backs. No one has each other's backs. If they're not in your group, fuck them. That's the mentality. That's the mentality for everybody in this goddamn city. And if I'm not stepping up and I'm not saying, hey guys, people are fucking complaining. People want to go and have fun and you guys are fucking farming them. That's the issue. I could give two fucks about the B scene. I don't care. I don't fucking race that shit. I could give two fucks about them either. All I care I about is when people come to me and they say, Hutch, I can't race in A because I suck. I go to B and I get fucking my ass reamed. Where the fuck can I race? And what, you want me to, hey, burn in hell, brother. Climb your way out of the devil's ditch. Race. Like, it's, it's, like, it's like a conversation of a bunch of people saying they don't care about winning and they want to have fun while caring that they're losing to uh, it just seems very like hypocritical. I'm not gonna lie. And also, like, um, fuck that that point really set me off track. But it to that extent, it does seem like very hypocritical. And I do think that oh, I remember what I was gonna say. It, it, if you think that bees are like the cause of like farm, I think 100% what you said. And I, even I was thinking about it uh, earlier. Well, I was thinking about removing G <laughs> genie almost completely from bees it should be tiered and like then if people who are really trying to min max g and e are going to race in the higher like races and that shouldn't be an issue i i, I really don't think skill should gatekeep people like that but i mean I, it's up to I everyone's mean, opinion with, i i do that know that i talked said, to b racers about it and none of them agreed with me getting banned but and i don't okay, know who so here's my argument for what you're saying other than people outside of the scene you know here's like, my I'm argument for what with, you're like, having everyone. to say okay if if okay. it's not about placement and if it's not about the money or or uh, the GE &E doesn't matter you're there so why don't you race an a kick back turn on music and relax and then just race an a if it's not about the money or the placement why does that have to transition to you racing b to start off, I didn't have a a car for like the well, last five days. I just out. been that, scratched Put on. that out. But All your right. point was is that uh, step it, two you're is the relaxed. cars are just way way chiller. Police don't show up and enforce bees that hard. I don't have to stress about losing my hundred thousand dollar car, and I can just chill out. That's it's more so the atmosphere and the risk that you're taking in bees. I've never seen a police like take or arrest a B class racer before. So that's part of the reason that it's just like I don't have to stress about police like. Shift three has been like dog shit lately, and I, a lot of my friends don't even want to race when those cops are around because they've been doing like shitty shit, like sending people into walls. They sent May into a fucking river, so I can go race a B and chill and not have to worry about my one and only A plus car getting fucking yoinked just because you know I have to race in in, in A plus or or I have no other options. You know, like. That's when I go to bees. Is when I'm like, okay, I just want to chill. I just want to race, fucking hang out. So I it's like about a lot of it's the about the loss bees that's well. involved with it. Also, that that's what you're telling me. It's like yeah, it kind of like if you don't get anxiety sometimes about racing versus certain cops, then uh, you're tougher than I am. But sometimes I don't want to race, like my one Vin scratch. Like if I know like there's like cops going hard. Like say like you just shot a cop in the head, right? Related to a race. I'm less inclined to go to the next A plus race, and I think a lot of people are like that. You know, well, like of course, if I I'm go the same way. And... No, I listen. I, yeah, I, again, so like, I am, not, I agree with a lot of your points. You got to understand it's not that about the money. Like I, I so, I'm like chilling. Like it's just like literally, I just want to fucking in the community of the B. Like I'm friends with like everyone, so I don't know. Like I, they're all the mechanics. I think the tuner, biggest problem with, with all of and... this is just the level uh, that the A scene has gotten to of the sweatiness and the lines and the curb boosting and the brake boosting and the and the amount of people who are driving stick and are just gods that people can't compete with. And I, I, I think that the A scene is what's creating all of this fucking shit. And I, number two, I think the G and E prices going up is the reason why people even care about oh, he's here, or oh, he's there, or oh, I'm getting farmed in B, or oh, he's just there for the G&E and B. Listen, uh, trust me, I hear you. It's just, 
it's very frustrating to me whenever I have people come to me and they're telling me like, oh, this person, or I'll use your name, Orange is racing B and he's won four out of the last five races in B and he's just farming G&E. And then I hear that one of my people who's under my umbrella is farming fucking bees. And I'm just like, there's no fucking way he's farming bees. And they're like, Oh yes, he is. And I'm like, well, what the fuck is he thinking? Like, I feel like he has a little bit more feel than to sit there and win five out of six fucking races and think, okay, this is what I should be doing. Right. That's the, that's no, what I, I was told. Literally don't even think that like happens. So like, I, I think in the last like seven to 10 races I've done in bees, I probably won like two or three. I know for a fact um, the last Cody, five Cody that I didn't us win. Cody beat all his arms, so. Yeah, like, Lower the GNE amount you receive for the lower class like cars and raise the GNE amount for higher class cars, and SX. Again, I know you want to, like, cater to people who are new, but I strongly disagree with that, like, from the way that I got into racing and, like, that well, I Well, again, you're going to have racing. that bias, right? I'm going to have the bias. Taco's going to yeah. have that bias. Trust me, I agree. I think... Until Until you sit there and you talk to someone who is... And I mean, you talk to people. I talk to a lot of people. Y'all hear my phone ringing all the time. And to hear people who are completely and utterly demoralized and they just don't even want to go near the uh, uh, race, period, who want to race, but they won't go near it because people who have been part of the racing scene before that don't even want to race anymore because it is at the the sweatiness that it fucking is, is it just irks me because I'm not I... Gonna lie. Sorry to cut you off, but like... People that were a part of the racing scene means like they have racing experience and they're just, in my opinion, salty. They can't win against like people like Goof and Rat. No, it's a hundred percent not. Trust me, you listen. There's a lot of racers that are salty that 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 these guys are at the level that they are. But these guys also have been racing in different cities that were strictly for racing. So they came over and shit down everyone's throats. I was, I mean, even whenever I first came back, I couldn't even compete. Right? right, but that I happens this... with everyone. Like, even I am like, I am years behind in experience from a lot of you guys. Like, you, you probably have like ten times the amount of races 100%. that I have done in total. So, like, there's always going to be someone with more experience than you. I, it's just some people can't cope with the fact that people are better. Like, I, 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 I personally despise the word sweaty. I'm not gonna lie because the only people who say sweaty, in my opinion, typically. Are people who want to win and say they don't care about winning or are mad at people who are trying and winning and I, I, i'm just not a fan <laughs> like it's like in, in everyone wants to be the winner but there can only be one winner right and like i never get mad at losing a goof in my opinion but maybe i just have a competitive mindset where it's like this guy's better than me i really want to get that good like do you see how cool he took that line or how fast it was I don't fucking sit here and complain that he's been racing for fucking six, seven years. I'm just like trying to think of how I can improve, but I, I, it's definitely a person to person thing. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, it's fucking racing. Like we're not trying to hold each yeah, other's but hands here's my and thing. give here's the people difference. fucking a chance to win. I'm trying to win. Here's the like, difference. It's supposed you're to be competitive. talking about, you're talking about <clears throat> the term sweaty and how you don't like that term when it is 100%. That is exactly what's going on. The, you got to understand what people used to do isn't what we do now. It used to be one or two or three races max a day. People would show up. They'd hardly know the track or they would somewhat know the track. You would go and you would race. And then it would it was just like fucking let's go out there. But now right. just to even stay relevant, you got to race fucking. I race like eight to ten races a minimum a day. And I am still not even close to being in the top ten people in the city and i'm okay with that you see me lose after lose after lose after bro i could give yeah, two fucks about the winning literally and everything in my opinion. yes but like, what i'm what i'm saying is is that the use the, the say and use the term not sweaty when there's people who are doing absolutely everything in their fucking power to win that is 100 percent racing well, and in being my opinion sweaty. there's a difference between sweaty and scummy like there's scummy stuff and then there's trying to win. But at what point does scummy become uh, become uh, a regular thing? How regular did nosing at the beginning of a race become before we had to ban that? How regular did diving in the middle and nosing to the front of the fucking pack and then holding the the front for the entire race? How how long did that have to happen before well, I, I had to put I just my feel like down? stuff like that happened because no one knew. Like I didn't know that was a rule. No one ever told me that was a rule. That just makes sense, right? Like stuff like that is bred by loose. Uh, rules it's not because people were scumming it and they knew it was a rule it's because 
no one laid down the like the the rules like now that i i never see people doing that now do you now that we've established no, it no 100 percent. so You're right so if they did it now it would be scummy but before beforehand i think they were just doing what made sense right like if you're trying to get a lap record on a sprint and you're not nosing off the line how are you supposed to get lap record on lap tracks you have a hot lap where you come in flying but it, you can't do that in a sprint so like i, I think it's just bred by people uh, i i see i disagree and, like, i disagree with that i think that again it was that word that we used it's called feel i feel like people and i'll use rat for an example Rad is a really good racer, has some of the most crisp lines that I've ever seen. But again, Rat winning 17 races out of 18 that he races, as long as certain racers aren't there, never in a million years even blinked to NOS in front of everybody and hold the lead the entire time. And never did he think, you know what? Maybe I should give someone else a chance. Maybe I should sit in the back and let them go out in front and then see if I can catch them. Or maybe I should not NOS all the way to the front and then hold the front for the 18th time in this race. But again, we're talking about that common sense factor of where it's like there is there is zero remorse for anyone around you when you're doing shit like that. There's zero remorse. No, I, I agree with what you're saying, but I do think it's literally just a cause of it's it's like a dominoes, like um like even like it's not know, like but red it's not someone is exactly it's not your fault. Team would, it's not your fault their... because red MG fucking tommy cruiser well, it's just it's, if you see someone else too. do it you're gonna do it too right so yeah. like it just becomes a habit of everyone and i i just think it's like it just comes down to rules like rat wants to win obviously like he's fast as fuck like he's good at driving but i mean if he sees other people doing it and then doesn't do it and loses i i feel like it puts like a like a bad taste in your mouth bro to lose you're 100 percent. listen you are 100 so everyone ends right. up doing it you are 100 percent right i ended up started doing it because i couldn't compete yeah, unless I, mean, I did do it there's no I, problem I with it i just think establishing rules is important for things that we don't agree with i don't like i said that's not sweaty that's it's not it's not scummy it's it's trying to win and it's only scummy once we've established rules otherwise like even like i know there was a big debate that he went through the park i don't think that's scummy i think that's sick that he found that fucking line through mirror park like it might be different for other people, but uh, some people think that literally driving over a curb in your line is curb boosting now. Like, that's just taking a line. If there's a curb, we're not going to ban driving over curbs, right? It's, it's when you go out of your way to hit curbs. That's, that's like what curb boosting is. It's not going over a curb that's in a straight line to where you need to fucking go. It, going around curbs would make no sense, right? Yeah, like, but, but how many line? Well... See, again, I, I, that's something I disagree because back back way when, you know, I always say back when, uh, I hate saying it, but I always do, people would avoid curbs. Like, people would 100% yeah, so, but like, If we establish that them. rule, I'll fucking start going around curbs. That's fine. No, but I agree. It's Everyone's, not a rule. My lines are in curbs now because it's the only way to, that's the only yeah, way to keep up it's, with it's everyone. Yeah, it's just is what it is, right? Like, it's, it's a part of the track, and unless we say don't fucking go over curbs, which I think would be really fucking hard to maintain this point but oh uh, we're like it's just a part of the fucking like track right like you can't complain about it if we don't say it's not allowed in my One opinion that's AP just how it's calling me ap what's Yo. up man sorry i'm talking to orange at the shop okay uh oh you're at the shop right now like at the yeah, garage yeah, yeah. yeah i'll be there in a sec all right uh, so i do need to talk to you about something all right bye um listen man like i said i only ever have the, the general population of racers best interest that's all i care about i don't care who you are i don't care if you're my boys i don't care if you i don't know you at all it doesn't matter i, I saved two people racing dongles i don't even know their fucking names and i went out there and threatened to kill people for their dongles like <laughs> I, it's just i just that's who i am that's you know me that's obviously yeah, no, you know that like, that's all i care about is just that coming from the like general, a selfish space Exactly. I don't even race bees. I could give two fucks about what you do in your day or how you progress and whatever the fuck. The way it was brought to my attention was, hey, Hutch, I'm getting farmed. I say, by who? They say, Orange. And I say, what the fuck did you just say? And then they tell me the story, and the way that they told it sounded like you were there in my eyes. This is what I envisioned. You'd roll up to the scene. You'd get in your car that's fully upgraded. You would, get started, you would start at the back even. Start at the back. You would outdrive them in the first lap. You would hold that shit. In the next race, you do it again. You were pocketing $100,000 a night, and you were making 2,000 G&E in a day. 
and you were just calling it quits, and the next day you did the same thing. That's what I envisioned. Now, obviously, that's not what's going on. You have an unupgraded car with neons, so you have a level two engine. You're going in these races because you enjoy them. You want to stay away from cops. I understand. You have no A-plus vehicle that has a VIN scratch and a $100,000 uh, VIN scratch that everybody wants. I also understand. All your points are valid, and I understand them. But I do think that there's a serious problem in the racing scene right now with, number one, the integrity of it, because people don't give a fuck other than their, their money in their pockets. And I think that B classes shouldn't be the same as A classes to make people in B want to progress to A, or vice versa. Making A racers going down to B, being able to say, I'm taking a loss, but like you said, if it's for the reasons that you're saying, it doesn't fucking matter. So I think the solution, other than saying you're not allowed to go there, is saying this is less, this is more. That's it. Yeah, I, I really think it'd be really beneficial for the whole racing scene if B's, C's, and D's got like half as much genie as A's. And even S's got more than A's. It I would, think no one in think, a B race should ever ca uh, should ever make over 20 G and E, no matter what they're doing. I think that would be completely fine. And yeah, if I was allowed sense. to still race B's, I would still go race B's when I want to chill, if that was allowed. And I'd love to talk like with Chip here, because I always thought Chip was on the same page. Like He always said he liked me coming to the races, and then... And it wasn't, it wasn't so. just about you. It wasn't just about you. Yeah. There was multiple people brought up and multiple people I was going to talk to. You were just, bro, you got to understand something. It's like having a, I'm not representing you to a child, but it's like you guys being my boys is the same thing as Taco, Rami, Randy. You guys are just an arm reach away from me. Y'all are, in my eyes, family to the point where if I have something and it's something that it's like, okay, this is the problem. It's one of these guys. I put you guys like you guys are a reflection of myself. If you guys are doing something bad, it I don't want to say it makes me look bad, but I take responsibility for it because you guys are my dudes. I go to war for you guys. You all know that. So I come down harder on you than anyone else because I I have to. You guys are the shop. You guys are in my eyes. I put you guys on a pedestal. You guys are both really good fucking racers. And if you guys are ever doing something bad, or I think you guys are doing something bad, I'm going to make sure you guys aren't yeah. because I, I want you guys to, I don't want to say succeed in the city, but uh, I just don't want anyone be, being able or having any reason to badmouth you whatsoever. Even whenever I, I hire you. I think that you, makes sense, but I also found out I was banned by AP without ever Well, that's because I didn't, to. I didn't know you were in the city. Like, that was yeah, right after even the conversation, like the you weren't around. Me being made to be banned... Was it wasn't. Never, it wasn't just like me. I wasn't included. Yeah. Well, it, it was me. I would have loved Mary, to like be able and... to chime in at the time before it even got to that point. You know, because you know me, I'm very like very easily accessible and. But it wasn't. Know, a, it wasn't a my fact side of the where story, it was. There's always multiple sides. Yeah, it wasn't. And I'd a love fact to that... know who even complained because I literally am friends with all of the people who race. Yeah, Beast actually. Yesterday. Yeah, even people were telling so me. I feel like, like it's literally orange. people who never race. Complaining yeah. rather than the actual core community, and like that's what it feels like to me. Well, because well, I'm, I'm literally friends with and, all them, and they would talk to me directly. You gotta understand something. It wasn't a thing where it was. It's only orange. It's orange. It's orange. P jump up with yeah. your pitchforks, go and get them. In my eyes, it was. Obviously, you know why. But it wasn't I'm that, not. right? Like it was just the first person that was brought up in the conversation wasn't you. You got brought up in the conversation. The only person I knew for a fact I even have my phone number for or the phone number of is you. So who's the person I'm going to do? Because, again, I'm going to be more harsh on you guys than anybody else. Number one, because I know you. Number two, because I take care of you guys any chance that I can. And number three, because I have to. Like, you, again, are an arm reach away. I talk to you every single fucking day. Trust me. The last yeah. thing I want to do is fuck you. But when, when someone says something that you're doing – it's just like if someone came to me and said, yo, Taco is going and shooting up the racers. I'd do the same thing with Taco. I'd be like, all right, that motherfucker's banned. Done. And if once yeah, you no, talk I about it and fine. something happens, right, then it's like, okay, now we can go from there. But I would have never even thought about lowering the G&E cost until we had this conversation. And it wasn't like I said, yeah, he's banned. Tell everybody he's banned, blah, 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 blah. It was, okay, at this moment, he's not racing any more bees. I'll talk to him later. And that's exactly what I said okay. to Mary. Whenever we had the conversation with her and, and Chip was there. 
but I do agree with you. I don't think that banning people is the is the solution. It is lowering the G&E for bees. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah if you want to go and race in bees, I, I don't care. I'm cool with it uh, for going forward. But just make sure that – I don't want to say you give people a chance. I don't want you to dog on your races. But just make sure that there's a general consensus of I know everybody here. No one gives a fuck. I'm just going to go and do my thing, and everyone's cool with it. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, I mean, the reason I love bees is because the cars you can fucking take like full speed lines. Like, you'd think they were they were like slow pace, but in some like tracks you can actually take down. corners like faster than you do in A pluses, and it makes yeah. it like really fucking fun. Also, Dude, um, you have to understand so that's why is that I was doing a it. lot of people won't come up to you guys because again, I understand that they but... put you guys on a racing pedestal of these guys are vets. These guys are established. These guys are names in the racing scene that everybody knows. I don't want to go up and talk to them or tell them how I feel because they're, again, like my boss in a sense, right? Yeah, that's that what sense. my job is. Is people come and tell me, and then I'm the messenger always because people are either too much of a pussy or they just don't want to rub you guys off the wrong way, and they know I don't give a fuck. And that's yeah, why I they come want and this tell to me. Turn into what happened. So the Lenny situation was like from a like a bystander perspective was so fucked up. Like I was actually so was annoyed at shit. the time and I tried speaking up about it and got shut down. And I just didn't want like an echo chamber of and, and what usually happens is it's people who aren't involved complaining about people who are involved. Um so like what happened with Lenny, right? Where People assumed his car was fully upgraded. It wasn't. I took it to Benny's. I made sure his car was fucking Xenon spoiler. And it was. Um, and then he, he got in trouble for like doing like something a little scummy, which there was like, it, you got to understand that back then it was a big debate whether Xenon spoiler was stock or not. And the biggest offense he did was racing against stock A class cars in a Xenon spoiler car, which is an advantage. I don't think it's a ban from races offense, but um, so he got fined 500 GE for that, and then after that, he literally only ever raced locals with his friends. Like it was just a local group. He was always in locals. I made sure to check in, and then they come uh, they come after him again, saying you're up you're racing an upgraded car versus locals, he and did. he wasn't because of an echo chamber of enforcers. Which I'm really glad that you're around now, because back then it was like two people who never raced being the the command of like you know lenny's gone when lenny was just racing fucking locals versus locals and he got treated like he he was racing a fully upgraded car well, versus exactly others and who was because it was delayed complaints him, right i tried and got shut him. down but that's but... the thing right the people who stood up for him was myself well not really even me it was charles charles went up to mary and said mary the, like you guys didn't hear the conversation I heard. I know you're you're dating Mary, but I, I would say this in confidence, knowing that you're not going to go and tell her. But, um, bro, she was not having it. Like her and Charles, literally, like was in a yelling match. Like, you are entitled. Charles would say that to Mary. Like, you are entitled. You think you deserve shit. Mary would come back at Charles and be like, I am entitled. I'm the one who built this racing scene. And I'm the one who made these races. And Charles was like, you ain't entitled to shit. And, like, what you're asking for is way too high. He didn't even hardly do anything. I'm telling you guys right now, if it wasn't for Charles, Lenny would still be banned from all racing. And he wouldn't even come close to touch races for probably yeah, the well, next I, three, four months. In my opinion, he should have never been banned in the first well, place. I tried to speak uh, out about it, but I didn't have much. I will fear. say... The reason why he was banned for as long as he did, I don't know if you guys know, but he tried to put out a hit on Mary. I don't know if you guys know that. Well, yeah, that, yeah. that was well, part that of it. Well, that shit is dumb as fuck. Like, the yeah. fact that he's that Listen, after he's the not fact, an innocent he, like, guy. Like, like he's that, uh, after you do that, moron. yeah, like, I think just, that yeah, shit too. it was more so the fact <laughs> that <laughs> pissed me off was it was like, it was almost like people were taking complaints to the enforcers who were never around and then when they did come around and then they it was like from fucking... two weeks ago and then they're like you're still doing it but you wasn't it's just you're never Agreed. around so you never talk to these people and now you're just hearing about it and so you think he's still doing it when he wasn't and that's so that was I what annoyed here, me right? and then if he called a hit on mary he's a fucking moron and should be banned permanently yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that's like completely besides the fact so you have to understand and that's why you know i try and i race every single day 
like the shop that does all the stuff for the racing is my own. I try and make sure that I'm there and I hear everyone out. I have no bias. It doesn't matter who you are. I didn't even show my gang leader, Mr. K, this fucking shop because he didn't race. I'm pretty sure one of my boys ended up showing him behind my back from what I heard. But I didn't even show him this shop. Like, dude, my entire being in this city right now is for the racing. And I feel like I love Mary and I love Titanium. But they're not around uh, all the time. And when they are around, even when it comes to, like, they don't put in the footwork that I put in when it comes to hearing people out and fixing the problems. Correct? I agree that you're very, very useful to have around now. If someone, if someone has any – if if anyone was asked who is the leader of the racing scene, everyone and their mother would say Titanium or Red. My name would not even be brought into the conversation. Now, if they said, yeah. who has your back – more in the racing scene out of all of the fucking uh whatever the fuck we're called enforcers i guarantee you my name would be said nine out of ten times because you're it's just the only actual racer who's an enforcer i don't even know who the enforcers are but like to bring up two like or even three like red it's myself uh, red titanium uh and and tony ducker z yeah and exactly they don't race you guys are enforcers. like uh like titanium races like very rarely red <laughs> was racing quite a bit she stopped she racing number, since but the tuna even then like yeah. exactly like she's very off and on with the racing she's not very consistent mm -hmm. so like our our quote-unquote enforcers never know like the real but luckily like me ap and goof started like being around and like we actually everything's been pretty like well handled when it comes to like real troublemakers that would be like need to we only had one really like real bad guy and we fucking took care of that guy but yeah, like, uh, I, I just think, I always thought it was weird that the enforcers are never around, and I really like that you're around. I think it's really beneficial, and you actually do every single race when someone's getting chased fucking offer to help them out, which I think is really good. Well, well I mean, that's technically, the thing. Go ahead. Technically, I'm an enforcer, too. Um, I think you're, like, what, a chaperone or whatever the fuck it is? I don't know, man. I'm one of the fucking people who make sure the other fucking yeah, people don't do anything. The fucking, fucking midnight stupid. club? The midnight club is the yeah. other funny thing. is There yeah. was a large argument at an A race. Where uh, Chody was actually saying like there was issues, you know, I heard we start establishing rules. Yep. And, uh, Mary actually said specifically that the Midnight Club has nothing to do with open races. And then Titanium said, said that they do. Yes. I know. Trust me. I, I've listen, man. The Midnight Club is one of the most frustrating things in the world to me. And well, it's like it, it came even up. Exist, it really. doesn't. It, it, it's like Eddie, Eddie, and Mary. I've said this to them before. I've, I've had this conversation they're not on the same page mary says that the midnight club is just a club that doesn't involve themselves with open races and that it only involves themselves with their own events and it's a club where you have to get invited to blah blah blah, blah. titanium says it's a group of people who are trusted within the racing scene that runs the racing scene they both disagree and agree with what they do but they both have completely different ideologies of what the fucking club is for in my opinion i don't give a fuck about the club i don't even think i'm in the club i get told i'm one of the fucking people in the club i ain't never raced a midnight club race in my fucking life i i know there hasn't been shits. any midnight club races at nice, all guys, actually why do you make your own club there man. has there was that club, tournament boys. the tournament Please. and like the oh, other the bullshit he... i didn't even do anything nah, that in wasn't that even... shit that wasn't even mid that wasn't even the nightclub stuff. That was just like everybody can get it on. What I'm saying stuff. is, what I'm saying is, is I think the midnight club is a bunch of dog shit. I don't like it. I don't like the idea of it. I think it's stupid. I think if there's a club that you guys want to have, if if it's Mary's idea, I think it makes sense. But other than that, uh, Titanium saying that it's a bunch of like vet racers who are going to watch over the scene. Listen, all right. Whenever I saw MG take eighteen thousand dollars cash put it into his pocket, get into the front of the race with a one-on-one -on -one car that drives better and turns better and out accelerates every single motherfucker, start in the front, hold the front, and take 17 grand home in his fucking pocket. I said, you know what? I lost a lot of respect. I did. And that's why I don't give a fuck. Like, when it comes to racing, I only care about the people and the scene and then the day-to-day -day racing activities. I don't give a fuck about the tournaments. I don't give a fuck about all this other bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I care too. I could care less. I care that people are having fun, having a good time. That's all I'm here for. That's all I care about. Same with the MPA. That's why I do the paintball shit because I want people to be able to shoot each other and have fucking fun doing it without going to jail. Oh, uh, that's all I care about. That actually. <laughs> what? What's up with the MPA well, now? Well, no, no, it's nothing wrong with it. It was just um, 
Well, where the racers and the Ray and the racers hasn't showed up to 60% Single one. of our fucking tournaments. So we were thinking about oh, yeah. maybe well, making well, yeah, a new one. team if we could. Yeah, it's fine. Y'all can do whatever the fuck you want. But okay. if you host a B we just don't know how you actually like, register racers for it. Can anyone register? register or? Yeah, what, anyone can register. You can just go to talk Says, to we just... Nancy and say you want to get on a different team and drop and leave his team and go to another team. Listen, I, I don't know why y'all ever joined Ray with the racers because that motherfucker never goes and never shows up and has, has shafted you guys four out of the last five tournaments. Oh, we, we like Ray a lot. It's just yeah. yeah. He, he doesn't, doesn't show up. You, I like up, I yeah. like Charles, but I would never be on a paintball team with him because I know I couldn't well, rely on him to wake up at 4 o'clock. I thought he evening, would. Right? Ray is... <laughs> I like Ray a lot, but yeah, it's uh, it was it's really frustrating because like right. we Who wanted to win and shit. So quick. What'd you but, say? Um, but host the B class race. Yeah, and that's another thing, bro. A big solution to all this problem is just host your B classes. Still I'm not gonna lie. And put in parentheses experienced racers. I'm not gonna lie. I host like everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're hosting a B class race hosting. and then people show up and then they bitch, fuck them. They can suck my dick. They can't say shit. If you join a race going, then you win the race. I understand frustration, but if you're hosting it, it's a solved all problem. So you know what? From this point on, just host your B classes. You and Taco, or if you know the person hosting it and they're your boy, show up. If anyone has a problem with it, they can suck your dick and they can, quite frankly, suck mine too. They can just go make their own fucking right. race if they want. I actually exactly. sold my like B class that was considered to be like really good too. So I'm just gonna drive my. Other right, one. Sit at it one more time, Hutch. I get it, get it filmed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say it one more time. So oh, I get it. You got yeah, that yeah. Oh, this, oh, so we can tell them to go fuck yep. yourself. Uh huh. No, but that, to be honest, if you're if you're hosting, I really do think that B classes matter. should earn less G and E. I think yeah, I agree. There's less risk involved, so you should make less money. I agree. I'll talk to so, Titania. Uh, I mean, see if I can kinda, talk to the puppet okay. master. So you say there's less risk, but I feel like it's pretty risky to have a, a you know, a kind of an underwhelming vehicle a and getting. Bro, those things will chase. fly through the city, though. I feel like, Marco, and then what they are you have to chase about, you. Brother, as if you were just an A. So Don't like, just say so fucking uh, I haven't been chased yet, but opinion. I feel like I'll fucking dominate an interceptor in a B by just taking corners really fast. Let me hear you, Marco. Yeah, but I mean, all B, not all B classes are like that, though. You know what I mean? There are some B classes that are just literally. Yeah, that's true. I actually really Bro, want to try I drove a, B a B class today. For fun. The one I that I really chopped funny. from that dude, I drove a B class today that went 154 miles an hour uphill. It is called. Wait, what? The. Oh, I know what it is. The Michelle GT. Yep. And if you guys are letting a Michelle GT race in that shit, you guys are high as a fucking well, kite. See, the problem is the Michelle GT is actually not that good of a a, a car. Because I actually it bought one. Really well, right? So, the problem with the Michelle GT is that. And I requested with the manufacturer like a hundred times. It has the suspension thing, but it's probably the worst turning car I've ever oh, driven. Oh, 100%. It's, it is yeah, really bad. Like, turn. So they're fine when they're stock or even if they just have like one upgrade. But his had like double speed, I think, in it. And like it was really fucking boring watching that thing just blast by you. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I, I, had I sold mine. I didn't like it. uphill, bro. Like that thing was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. it, it, it's stupid fast. Um, I even know which Michelle that is because I, I was talking to him that it might be a little too fast. Um, well, I chopped it because he decided to put disposable parts in that bitch. I, I actually suspected when I heard that it was a thing. I I suspected that guy did that because uh, I it didn't make sense. You would put engine turbo into a Michelle GT VIN scratch. Yeah, we're about to have to start fucking vetting all these people in the B class races. See what fucking upgrades there are. Benny. Well, I mean. So, like, like, literally, like Hutch was saying with feel, is that's very much what the B scene is um, when it comes to cars. Like, uh, I, I try pretty hard to keep the cars fair and tell people not to put stupid upgrades in their car. Like, people with clubs have been upgrading lately. And I try and tell them, like, the most you should ever put in a club is transmission. Because if you Can't put engine in, it's going to be way too fucking... Uh, uh, it's way too quick. It's way too quick stock anyways, you know what I'm saying? So... City's going down, boys. I'll talk oh, to you guys yeah. more after. All right. <sighs> oh, my God, man. Wait, what did you say, Marco? I didn't even see your message. I struggle with him saying it's chill and just wants to race. Then he says, I just wants to win throughout the whole thing for me. I just think the bees are imbalanced, and I, he takes advantage of that where he should maybe sorry 
You should maybe, I should just use a shittier car. I am with you where you want all these people to race. It just seems gatekeeping when he says he doesn't want everyone to race. That is just my opinion. I agree with that. And that's the opinion I'm trying to make across. And I feel like some people in chat or other people are just getting upset at me for saying it. Um, like participation rewards, right? Yo, Dan McCabe, thank you. Like, oh, dude, fuck this guy. Why are we giving him participation reward? Well, it's, it's like, it's not really a participation reward. Like, these guys are going out. They're racing. They're just not really good racers. And I just want people to be able to join a race and have a chance to win and not have to worry about people who race every single day shoving their cocks 18 inches down their fucking throats. That's all I want. That's all I want. And it's, it's very hard to make that point across. So I'm just going to talk to Eddie. I'll talk to Otto and or i'll talk to uh gta wise guy and i'll talk to coil and and maybe we'll drop the fucking g and e that you get from b races if it, that's if it's that big of an issue right it does hurt new races but it hurts new racers. Sorry, my face is bleeding, chat. Damn it, it's still bleeding. Um, it does hurt new racers, but in a sense, it gives them the drive and the want to become better so that they want to move up to the A scene. You know what I mean? It makes them want to go and, and, and get better and move up. 